copy of breaking news at 430 drivers stuck in an absolute mess on Interstate 75 overnight after a wrong way driver causes a deadly crash in just hours from now Atlanta Medical Center begins full diversion what this means for you if there's an emergency the death toll rises and recovery efforts continue in the wake of Hurricane Ian new details overnight plus how local organizations are helping families Show Atlanta, I'm breaking down warmer temperatures coming up. Atlanta News First starts now with breaking news. Well, that crash on I-75 still causing mm -hmm. extreme delays early this morning as drivers begin to head to work. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. For Atlanta News First at 430, I'm Rob Hughes. Good morning, I'm Gervier Denzel. We're going to get to your first alert forecast coming up in a minute. First, though, we do have to get to that traffic alert. Here's meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, definitely a mess to start the morning. This crash has had all lanes blocked for quite some time. There is some good news. It might be a little difficult for you to see, but they are finally starting to pick up. The last vehicle tow trucks are on scene. Right now, traffic is getting diverted off at the Georgia Tech and North Ave exit. So you could see some cars crawling by, but let me tell you, you are going to run into some very heavy delays. On my way to work in this morning, the 17th Street, exit, which is just before this also closed right now because of construction. So you will want to take 285 as an alternate. Also on the top end of the perimeter, 285 westbound heading towards Roswell Road or near Roswell Road in Fulton County. There is one lane of traffic being reported getting by, but definitely a parking lot on 285. So you are going to want to avoid that area as well. You can use Mount Vernon Highway as an alternate. A busy, busy morning on the roads already. So just be sure that you're taking those alternate routes. All right, Courtney, as we take a look at your forecast, that's looking much better. Good morning to you as you get this week started. It's currently 59 degrees in the city of Atlanta, so obviously a little bit cooler in the suburbs. We're going to take a look at those temperatures across the rest of Metro Atlanta coming up. The winds out of the north at 8 miles per hour. That's important because that northerly wind, that's what's helping to keep us cool and crisp, and that's a forecast going to stick around for the rest of the day. At 6 o'clock this morning, 55 degrees in Atlanta, a northwest northeast wind rather at 4 miles per hour. Uh, by 8 o'clock, we'll see plenty of sunshine. 55 degrees will be your temperature. And then as we get closer and closer to lunchtime at 11 o'clock, 67 degrees will be your temperature. So no complaints as you get your Monday started. And believe it or not, I'm tracking the 80s which are back in your forecast here as we go into October. So don't go anywhere. We're going to break down your complete forecast coming up a little bit later. We'll see you shortly, Rodney. Thanks. If you need emergency care this morning, you will not be able to count on Atlanta Medical Center. Yeah, in about two hours, the hospital is ending its ambulance calls. All emergency vehicles will no longer be diverted directly to Atlanta Medical Center beginning at 7 o'clock this morning. Now, this comes ahead of AMC's closure, which is November 1st. Today's change means all EMS partners will need to take patients to other area hospitals before bringing them to AMC. AMC says it will still accept patients through October 14th. Well, an emotional roller coaster across the sunshine Shine state as people deal with this complete destruction. This area flattened. You can see the beach there. Neighborhoods are full of debris and roads are now rivers across southwest Florida following Hurricane Ian. The death 80 as rescuers search for survivors. Governor Ron DeSantis said Sunday more than 1,600 people have been rescued from Hurricane Ian's path in parts of southwest and central Florida since last week. And as cleanup efforts continue, more than 800,000 customers are still without power. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will travel to Florida Wednesday to survey the damage, but not before they tour Puerto Rico today following Hurricane Fiona. At 435 here at home, a lot of you have not hesitated to step in and help those who are impacted by the hurricane. Organizations are collecting donations and getting them to Florida just as quickly as they possibly can. Hurricane Ian forced families out of their homes, causing them to lose just about everything, their clothing, food, daily essentials. One local organization, Caring for Others, has been working nonstop over the past few days to get trucks full of supplies to families in Florida. Food, cleaning items, and water are all headed south. But the organization says it can use more donations to reach more victims. When you 
have been affected in life by some form or fashion of poverty. You understand what it is when people have lost everything. We're asking people to dig deep inside of their hearts and look around them and see how best they can contribute to this effort. Volunteers are hoping to head down to Florida on Wednesday. If you'd like to donate, you can contact them through their website, caringforothers.org. Well, the countdown is on. We are just 36 days away from Georgia's midterm election, and a battle is brewing on some high-stake races. And Atlanta News First is here to get you ready. Early voting starts two weeks from today. And a new poll shows a lot of Georgians are still very divided over two races, including who's going to be Georgia's new governor. A new Fox News poll shows Governor Kemp has a seven-point lead over Stacey Abrams, while the U.S. Senate race between Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker is within the poll's margin of error. Warnock, 47 percent, Walker, 43 percent. Meanwhile, election officials in Fulton and Gwinnett counties are working to ensure polling places are well staffed ahead of the start of early voting, which begins on October 17th. Gwinnett is holding hiring events this week with the goal of filling nearly 2,500 positions. The last day to register to vote in the November election is October 11th. You can find a full list of early voting locations on the Atlanta News First app. Losing your child to gun violence is really a tough pill to swallow when one local family is left to plan funeral arrangements for a young boy found dead in the middle of the afternoon. A Lawrenceville family learned that their 17-year-old boy was shot to death on a subdivision's basketball court. Gwinnett County Police say it happened on Merrere Court around 4 p.m. Sunday. Right now, officers are talking to possible witnesses, including kids in that area, to figure out what led up to the shooting. No arrests have been made. University of Georgia students are getting back their peace of mind after some disturbing threats made on social media. Police arrested a freshman after he or they allegedly made a terroristic threats on the Yik Yak app. The app was actually shut down after a series of threats involving other college campuses, but the company relaunched that app last year. All right, let's get it over to First Alert meteorologist Rodney Harris. Look at your forecast and kind of the remnants here, it looks like, of Ian. Rodney? Yeah, that's exactly right, Rob. So this is a lot of rain that actually continues across the northeast as Ian has now pushed off the coast. But if you have any travel plans to the northeast, specifically uh, New York, Philly, D.C., just know that they are still getting some rain from, again, what's left of Ian. Ian is no more, but that's something we're going to keep you up to date on. Outside of that, as we take a little bit further toward the south, it is crystal clear right now across north Georgia. So it's a great start to your week here in Metro Atlanta. It's 59 degrees in the city right now, 55 in Marietta. Good morning to you in Cobb County. As we take you up to Roswell, 59, 53 in Lawrenceville. How about Canton, Cherokee County, Rob? Where are you at? Four 49 degrees as you start your money. That's cold, I think. We can all agree 50 in Dallas and 55 is your current temperature in Fairburn. So let's take you hour by hour throughout the course of your morning. You're getting out the door at 7 o'clock, 55 degrees, 63 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning. Notice those bars starting to turn yellow as we get into the afternoon by 1 o'clock, 72 degrees. As you are coming home from work, 76 at 5 o'clock. And if you're going to have dinner uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, 71 degrees. Really no complaints whatsoever today. It will be mostly sunny. Highs in the 70s. And believe it or not, I'm actually tracking 80s in your forecast now it will get cold again and i'll talk about that as well but before it gets cold again we will see those 80s return to metro atlanta so don't go anywhere we'll have more in your forecast to come but for now here is first alert meteorologist courtney jacobazzi with another breaking traffic alert thanks so much rodney yeah definitely a mess already on the roads this crash believe it or not started late last night just before midnight and it does look like the last car involved getting loaded up onto a tow truck in the meantime though traffic is getting diverted this is on the connector, I-7585, traveling southbound near North Avenue. This is the North Avenue and Georgia Tech exit that traffic is getting diverted to. But do expect some very, very heavy delays. A lot more people starting to head out the door now, getting ready to kick off a new work week. So you are going to want to try and take the perimeter, so 285 to get around that. Now taking you to the top end of the perimeter, though, if you are traveling 285, trying to go westbound, this is near Roswell Road. Road. There are three of four lanes blocked, so traffic is crawling by for the most part, looking more like a parking lot. Now, the anticipated clear time around 5 a.m., so another 20 minutes. You can take Mount Vernon Highway 
as an alternate, but even if you take that alternate route, do expect delays this morning as you get ready to head out the door. So again, the connector southbound near North Avenue and then 285 westbound near Roswell Road, you're really going to run into some trouble this morning, so try to avoid those areas. We'll have another check of the roads and your first alert forecast coming up in just a few minutes. A mess on a Monday morning. Courtney, I know, thanks. Last thing you want, right? Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. It's 440. Who is responsible for sending dozens of migrants to Martha's Vineyard? The person behind the hoax is being identified. How migrants say she lured them on the planes in the first place. Efforts continue to keep families afloat during this inflation crisis. A much needed boost in SNAP benefits to help feed struggling families. And Atlanta News First puts you first. And we aren't just focused on the city of Atlanta. We're invested in communities across the metro, including our viewers in Marietta and Cobb County. In today's Community Spotlight, we're highlighting the historic Marietta Square. We'll be back on Atlanta News First right after the break. at a time. We are Atlanta News First. Back again, huh? <laughs> you must love losing. You're buying the next one. You've got to win one first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mix and match your two favorites for $3.29 at any size soft drink for a dollar. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Positively Georgia. Atlanta News First salutes Montlican Associates with hardworking attorneys who know what it takes to win and nearly four decades of giving back to our communities. It's no surprise that Montlican Associates is Positively Georgia. Integrity is doing the right thing for the right reasons. If you've been injured, we'll handle your case with integrity and treat you with the dignity and respect you deserve. We are Motlick & Associates, trusted by families for over 35 years. Sometimes the best made plans are the ones we make ourselves. So why not have a plan that captures the special moments, the treasured memories shared with those you love, that reflect a life well lived, highlights your passions and accomplishments. We can help you create a tribute that honors your life. Pre-planning will help your final wishes come true. Gregory B. Levitt and Sons Funeral Homes and Crematory, a family serving families worldwide. Grandma knows you can really say pinnacle, even though you pretend you can't. I can say it, Grandma. Pinnacle Home Improvement says no, no, no. That's no down payment, no interest, and make no payments for 12 months. Get a new roof installed, windows for your entire house, or new siding now with no, no, no. Honey, no matter how you say it, Grandma loves you. I would describe myself as a fighter. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. I fight the powerful for the powerless, and our results speak for themselves. We have recovered billions of dollars for our clients. If you want a fighter, you can count on me. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. You're too busy to be sick. That's why Peachtree Immediate Care is here for you from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. So whether it's a nasty cold that won't go away, a painful sore throat, or an unexpected injury, with over 40 Atlanta area locations, there's a Peachtree Immediate Care just around the corner. You never need an appointment, and you can save time when you check in online. And as the urgent care partner of the Emory Healthcare Network, you know you're in good hands. Peachtree Immediate Care. Get in, get out, get better. A police tasing leaves a woman without a body part, but lawyers are justifying the officer's action. They deliberately did this, and there is no excuse for what they did. See exclusive body camera footage right now on the Atlanta News First app. Back again, huh? <laughs> you must love losing. You're buying the next one. You've got to win one first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mix and match your two favorites for $3.29 at any size soft drink for a dollar. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Welcome back. It's 15 minutes till 5 this morning. We know who allegedly rounded up migrants from Texas to fly them to Martha's Vineyard last month. Perla Huerta reportedly lured 50 Venezuelan migrants on flights to the Massachusetts resort community using Florida taxpayer money. 
Huerta is a former combat medic and counterintelligence agent recently discharged after two decades in the U.S. Army. According to the New York Times, migrants say Huerta offered them food, clothing and money in exchange to find others willing to fly to Massachusetts. Huerta has not commented on the allegations. Today will be historic as the new term of the U.S. Supreme Court begins. Always on the first Monday of October, uh, the court is going to feature the first black woman on the bench after Des Justice Katanji Brown Jackson was sworn in. She is more than just the first black woman on the high court. The court's also setting a record for the most women on the bench at one time. Of the 115 justices in the history of the Supreme Court, 108 have been white men. Only three have been people of color and only five have been women before Kataji Brown Jackson was sworn in. Inflation is impacting many of us, but for some families, it's the main reason they don't even have food to put on their dinner tables. That's why the U.S. Department of Agriculture is now increasing monthly benefits for food stamp recipients. It's a 12.5% increase to buy groceries. That amounts to an additional $400 for the average family of four each month. Now the maximum benefit will be $939 a month instead of $835. Nearly 41 million Americans count on food stamps to buy groceries every month. It is kind of a mess to start your uh, Monday morning at 446. Let's get over to First Alert Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, definitely. Where we're seeing the biggest issue for the start of the day is the connector southbound. So I-75, I-85. If you're traveling through Midtown, it does seem like all lanes are blocked and I believe they're starting to open the lanes. If there's any way we can get the GDOT camera behind me, that would be awesome because uh, my Max computer that shows you the graphics decided to freeze right before we came on camera. But there are starting to be there are improvements are starting to occur this morning. 285. There we go. Thank you guys so much. All right, so we'll get on uh, trying to get my Max to unfreeze for me. But in the meantime, this is going to be some welcome news for those of you traveling along the connector southbound I 75 I 85. This is near North Avenue starting around midnight. All lanes were blocked due to a wrong way crash and now lanes are just opening. So do still expect some delays as traffic starts to move again. But gosh, was this a mess. Traffic was getting diverted in one lane off to Georgia Tech. So this is going to be some welcome news for those of you starting to head out the door on this Monday morning. Now on the top end of the perimeter, we were watching a crash on 285 westbound at Roswell Road. That has since cleared as well. So now all of our big incidents to start the morning very, very early are cleared for you. So you're not going to have to worry about any crashes blocking all lanes, but do still expect delays traveling through Midtown southbound as traffic starts to pick back up to speed and on the top end of the perimeter as well. Now here's a check of your forecast with First Alert Meteorologist Rodney Harris. All right, Courtney, we are still in hurricane season, so I want to give you an update on the tropics because even though Ian is moving away from us and no longer impacting really us in uh, North Georgia especially, we are watching two separate systems right now in the tropics. The first you just saw, which is way out there near Africa that actually has a high risk of development that tropical wave but that's not going to impact anybody it's basically going to turn up into the open Atlantic so no issues there the second wave I'm watching is actually just east of the Caribbean so uh, that gives us a little bit of concern because Ian started just east of the Caribbean this has a medium risk of developing this second tropical wave as it travels through the southern sections of the Caribbean one thing I will say unlike Ian the models are not really showing this developing that much it's struggling to develop as it moves toward the West. That's certainly good news, but certainly something we're going to have to watch for you very carefully here over the next week because, again, it's taking a very similar track uh, to what Ian did. Here is a look at the season so far. Nine named storms. Uh, for perspective, we typically get 14 named storms every season, so we're still a little bit below that. Uh, four hurricanes so far this season and two major hurricanes. As a reminder, October is a month where we start to see our number of tropical storms and hurricanes drop, but it is still hurricane season until November 30th. So we'll continue to keep you up to date and give you these tropical updates as we see more stuff out there develop. Uh, for us here closer to home, a great day today, 77 degrees. That's your high temperature, no rain, completely sunny. As we take a look at your seven day forecast, you're going to really like this. 77 today, mostly sunny on Tuesday, 78 degrees 
Wednesday 79. How about 82 degrees? The 80s are back on Thursdays. So if you like the 80s, Thursday is definitely your day. Still completely sunny. Now, as we go into Friday, there's a dry cold front moving through, so we won't get any rain with this front, but what it will do is after that 82 degrees on Friday, our temperatures are going to drop over the weekend. So how about 50 degrees when you start your day on Saturday? That 50 is in Atlanta. So if you're in the suburbs, Cobb County, Cherokee County, Gwinnett County, Forsyth County, 40s for sure on Saturday morning. So make sure and plan for that. And then 72 degrees Saturday afternoon and then sunny on Sunday in 73. So great weekend. Before we get to that cooler weekend, we'll see those temperatures back in the 80s by the end of the week. We'll keep you up to date on this outstanding seven day forecast. I think we'll have more first alert weather and traffic to come. Gavir. I think we concur. Yeah, we'll back you up yeah, on that. Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> you know what else is great? The Braves on the road to another victory. Uh, get out the brooms on this Monday morning. <laughs> What's next for the Braves after sweeping the Mets and what needs to be done to take home another title? In Atlanta News First, putting you first. And we aren't just focused on the city of Atlanta. We're invested in communities across the metro, including our viewers in Duluth and Gwinnett County. So in today's Community Spotlight, we're highlighting the historic Southeastern Railway Museum in Duluth. We'll be right back on Atlanta News First. Another station in town decided to do news at three just to make more money. We're committed to keeping you informed even after the elections. Atlanta's first 3 p.m. news. Cancer. It's a word no one wants to hear. But at Cancer Treatment Centers of America, we hear it every day. It's a word we've dedicated our lives to overcoming by changing the way patients are treated. And now we're part of City of Hope, which is one of the nation's top 10 cancer hospitals. Together, we'll combine leading-edge clinical research with precision cancer treatment so we can be there when you need us most. So when you hear the word cancer, there's another word that should come to mind. Hope. Call now. Two. <laughs> Three, showtime. Let's go. The way my house is decorated is almost like an engineer. You know, it's all blank walls, couches, and furniture are against the wall straight. I have no plants, <laughs> but I do plan on uh, upgrading at some point. And when that point comes, it will be Delta community, hands down. I've been through this home buying process three times, and Delta community by far has been the easiest and smoothest. Reading a book can change a child's life, opening their world to new possibilities. But not every child has a book of their own, and a lot are not reading at their grade level. Together with Atlanta News First, we've handed out over 65,000 books to kids across Metro Atlanta. We are devoted to empowering kids to discover a love of reading and help them make a difference in their lives. That's why Ken Nugent Attorneys at Law are a proud sponsor of Atlanta News First, Books to Kids. working days into happy nights. Our battery 8K homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Every child deserves the opportunity to attend college, no matter their family's income. That's why Atlanta News First supports the mayor's 5K on the fifth runway, happening this Saturday at Hartsfield-Jackson, Atlanta International Airport. We're closing down the runway early in the morning to raise scholarship money for students who face financial barriers. Visit atl.com slash 5K for more information. And we'll see you on the runway. Scan the QR code now to register. Atlanta weather is a hot mess. There's always something to watch out for. We all know what a drop of rain does to your drive. That's why you need a weather team that puts you first. With First Alert weather. Your First Alert minutes before it gets to your house. Hours before it hits the highways. Days before it threatens. We are the most accurate team with the most weather experts. So you have more time to prepare. We are Atlanta News First, and this is why we First Alert. 
Man, is it a great time to be a sports fan in the state of Georgia. From football to baseball teams taking home the W Sunday. The Atlanta Braves inching closer to that National League East title. The Braves finish off the Mets 5-3 to three last night to complete the sweep of their division rivals. Now they have a two-game lead in the NL East with three games to play. The Braves will head to Miami to wrap up the regular season. Just need to win one game out of those three in Miami to take the NL East title for the fifth season in a row. And after a couple games on the West Coast, the Falcons back at home yesterday at the Bins against the Cleveland Browns. It was back and forth throughout, but the Dirty Birds scored 13 in the fourth quarter to win 23 to 20. Next up, Tom Brady in the Bucks, And believe it or not, Sunday's game this weekend in Tampa for the NFC South lead. Both the Bucks and the Falcons are two and two and are currently tied atop the division. <laughs> A little taste of Nigeria. Families celebrated Nigeria's 62nd Independence Day over the weekend with a cultural and business festival. It was right outside Atlantic Station. A lot of people got to enjoy live performances, some great food, and they got to do a bit of shopping as well. The weather was fantastic. It couldn't have been better. Right? Really, really couldn't nice. have been. 456 this morning, Atlanta Medical Center making major steps ahead of its official closure. What the facility is doing this morning that may cause you to have to divert to another local emergency room. And Atlanta News puts you first. We're not just focused on the city of Atlanta. We're also invested in communities across the metro area, including viewers in Decatur and DeKalb County. And in today's Community Spotlight, we're highlighting a staple of the South, the ever-popular Waffle House Museum. We'll be back on Atlanta News First at 5. first from where you live. From Athens to Atlanta, your first alert is on Atlanta News First. We are the local news team that puts you first. The Big Bang Theory, weeknights at 7.30 on Atlanta News First. You can get your smile back today. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we make high-quality tooth replacement affordable for everyone. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or life-changing dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can help you go ahead and smile. Click or call to schedule your new smile consultation today. Go ahead and smile. Positively Georgia. Atlanta News First salutes Montlican Associates with hardworking attorneys who know what it takes to win and nearly four decades of giving back to our communities. It's no surprise that Montlican Associates is Positively Georgia. Have a car? A title? You can get up to $10,000 with Title Max. Go to TitleMax.com and enter your car year, make, and model. See how much you could get. Check out TitleMax.com for the most cash you need. Check out TitleMax.com and shop us for rates. Check out TitleMax.com. All credit types accepted. Find out why so many people say, I got my title back with Title Max. I got my title back with Title Max. It's a title back with Title Max. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. I've done the research. Honest plumbing service begins with Superior Plumbing. Come on in. Superior Plumbing delivers reliable service at a fair price. At Iora with One Medical, we know the system can make anyone on Medicare feel so captive. Name again. The doctor is running New late. system in place. No, no results. Have yet. a seat. We, can see you dead. we believe it's time to break free from how it's always been. It's time to be seen, heard, and surrounded by a doctor-led care team. We are transforming primary care for adults 65 plus on Medicare. Join us and break free. In the race to be first. Getting to stories fast. Atlanta News made it more about spectacle than substance. Now, who would do that? That's why when we break news, get more context about how news affects you. More perspectives so that you have the complete picture. And more first alerts to help you plan. We 
are the local news team that puts you first. We are Atlanta News First. Breaking news right now at 5 on Atlanta News First. A deadly wrong way crash overnight shutting down the southbound connector right in the middle of Atlanta. We're live with new details. And thankfully, that crash now clearing for you. So traffic is starting to move along nicely on the latest on the roads across Metro Atlanta just ahead. And there's now less than two hours until Atlanta Medical Center stops accepting emergency patients. But the change means for the Atlanta community ahead of the full closure still to come. And Rob, it's a cool start to your Monday, but the 80s are back. Mm -hmm. And your forecast this week, I'll break it down for you coming up. The death toll from Hurricane Ian has risen to a shocking 82 just in Florida. We're taking a look at where people here in our area are offering a hand to those hit by the devastation. Atlanta News First.